Now that Commander is installed on your computer, you're probably anxious to start using the program, so I'm going to give you a quick introduction to some of the icons that have been installed on your desktop and show you how to log into the software. You're going to notice a couple of the icons that have been installed here, and let me draw your attention to them. This first icon here is the Commander icon. This is used to log into the program, and we're going to do that in just a minute. The second icon here is the QuickBooks interface. This is used to connect Commander and QuickBooks together. This is the Commander user guide. You can click on that if you'd like to read up and get more reference information on using the program. I have two backup icons here, one for making an automated backup, one for making a manual backup. You're going to want to make sure that that automated backup is set up and running so that Commander will automatically make a backup of your data at a certain time of day for each day of the week that you're open for business. We have a price file loader app here for loading price files, a warehouse locator for loading warehouse counts into the system, custom report app here for creating custom reports. I have my XCharge app here. This is for my XCharge integration for processing merchant services or credit cards and a couple of EPCs from various manufacturers. I've got Easy Parts 5 from Mercury, Midas, PartSmart, and HLSM. You might have a couple of those loaded also, and of course Commander has integration with those EPCs, and that needs to be installed so that the program can work correctly. I'm going to go ahead and double-click on the Commander icon here, put in a username of MIC, password of MIC. These are not case-sensitive, and these are default logins with the system. We'd go ahead and save that password, if, especially if you change your password, that way you do not have to enter it each time. Or if you want to protect your password, you leave that box deselected. Click OK, and we will go ahead and log into the program so we can start using Commander.